Welcome to the Connections Through Color Unit 2 Color Relationships Lecture. The learning objectives for this lecture is to gain a basic understanding of color harmony, to create hue acrylic gouache swatches, and apply color harmonies in compositions to articulate meaning. What is a color harmony and why are they important? Color harmonies are groupings of colors that can engender mood, ideas, and communicate concepts when strategically placed in compositions. Why would you use a color harmony? Visual experiences are preconditioned and follow a logical structure that is often necessary for communication. Using naturally occurring instances of color combinations can help creatives relay information to those who experience their work. The first color relationship we're going to focus on is the monochromatic. Now, unfortunately, when you do a Google search of monochromatic, they actually give you achromatic color harmonies. So monochromatic means one color. And this is one hue with variations in value and chroma. I have three examples here that all investigate blue or blue green in various ways. The second is a warm to cool. Also, some would call this an analogous color harmony. So for the purposes of our mixing, we were thinking about warm to cool as three colors on the same side of the color wheel moving relatively from warm to cool. So the two examples that I have here is yellow green to green and purple blue to red purple. Analogous colors are just three colors in consecutive order on the color wheel. In this instance, you also wanna make sure that you're staying on the same side of the color wheel to avoid mixing complements or near complements. And a complement are two colors that are on opposite sides of the color wheel. A triad within the it and color system are three colors equal steps apart on the color wheel. This can be difficult when trying to create a triad with Munsell because there are 10 colors to consider. So for the Munsell system, we work and move in degrees. So a triad in the Munsell system are three hues 120 degrees apart. You can calculate that using the degrees in the hue, saturation, and brightness area of the color picker in Adobe. So a triad are three hues 120 degrees apart. And remember, the Munsell wheel is 360 degrees. A split Y color harmony are three colors that include one base color and the two colors on either side of the complement. The example here, the apex color is red and the two colors on either side of the complement would be blue and green. A tetrad is a four color harmony and that is equal hues, hues that are equal distance apart. Again, using the Munsell color wheel, uh, you wanna calculate hues that are equal distance apart. Color mixing with paint. When mixing color with paint, you wanna think about when you're mixing a cool color to stay within the cool primaries and a warm color, the warm primaries. So the cool mixing palette is ultramarine, crimson, or lemon yellow. For a warm, color palette, it's cerulean blue, cadmium yellow, and cadmium red. And these are very traditional paint colors, tubes that you can find mixing acrylic or watercolor or even gouache. Simultaneous contrast. Simultaneous contrast refers to the way in which two different colors affect each other. The theory is that one color can change how we perceive the tone and the hue of another color when the two colors are placed side by side. Let's take a look at an example. The middle bar in each one of these examples is the exact same hue. Now, if I place a gradient that is either a shift and change in chroma or value, it makes the color appear a different hue. Let's talk about the type of hue contrast we have here. So this is another color relationship 
tied to what we've been looking at with the Albers interaction of color. On the far left, there is a high hue contrast with a value contrast. In the middle, there's low contrast. Can't really tell the difference between what's in the background and what's in the foreground. And on the right, there is high, Q, high hue contrast. In the middle bar, there's value contrast. And in the very bottom bar, there is a chroma contrast. So there's a shift and change in chroma that appears within the center bar. Simultaneous contrast. Now remember, hue has value. The squares in this chart represent pure hues. The row in the middle is the midtone value. The circles represent the value that that particular hue in chroma and value has. Now that's the end of the Unit 2 Harmony Lecture. Remember, if you have any more questions, feel free to sign up for office hours. Go ahead and move to the next slide for our in-class activity. For our activity, we're gonna go on a car color harmony scavenger hunt. You're gonna select one of the themes that are represented in the lecture, and you're gonna Google search that color scheme plus your specific design interests. So think about that's the field that you're planning on moving into in your second semester. You're gonna go ahead and make that image your virtual background.